Welcome back. This is Hill. And as you can tell, we are about to start a new adventure. As you may or may not know, my PC crashed, hard drive unrecoverable. I had to take it to the shop and have them put on a new copy of Windows. And I had to reload all the software and settings, recording stuff, all that stuff had to be reloaded, redone from scratch. So we're back. And I guess it will come as no surprise, you've probably seen it in the title of the video, that we are now using the Lost Legacy Wabajack mod. And I tried a bunch of different mods before I finally settled on this one and I just want to talk about that briefly um, one of the first mods that I looked at was the Septimus 4 and I have to say beautiful beautiful game I mean it it, it was modded in such a way that it, it put my game modding to shame and I have been modding my own games for years now, starting off with the Nexus Mod Manager and then Vortex. And now with the, the PC crash, I finally learned how to do Wabba Jack. So I, it, it kind of forced me because it just takes so long to, to mod your own game uh, by hand. So Wabba Jack is certainly a lifesaver. So... The thing about Septimus 4 that I, I had to kind of rule that out as, as a, I guess, a, a, a mod list to play on was that, um, first of all, the vanilla magic. You know, there were no strange runes uh, in the mod pack. It was just the, the plain old magic casting from the vanilla game. And, I mean, that it's fine if, if you're into that, but I'm spoiled, so... I really enjoyed using strange runes and you know I it's kind of like a almost a must have for me. Also, speaking of vanilla, the potions, those bottles, those ugly potion bottles that are in the uh, vanilla game. They they are in Septimus 4 and I really would have liked to have seen I can't remember what those mods are called like sim simple potions, beautiful potions, whatever with the the nice shaped bottles the E and B glow, all that kind of stuff. It, it just didn't have it. It was very plain. And this was one of two deal breakers that uh, the, the mod list didn't have. And that's the Winter Suns, Faiths of Skyrim. Um, I really need my religion in Skyrim. I mean, it, it just makes such a difference. And it, it was missing from this game mod list. And also... The missives boards, they're, they're, they weren't included, and I find that to be very essential when you're first starting a character to have these additional quests that you can go on to help level up your character. So that was also missing, so I just had to strike Septimus 4 off the list. But if you're looking for a, a basically a vanilla experience with a lot of... Um, I guess quality of life improvements and just gorgeous graphics. It's hard for me to believe, though, that Septimus 4, I think they said there are like 1,600 mods in there. It really doesn't seem like it, but, you know, it it does what it does. And I would say it's a very vanilla-esque uh, type of mod list. So I went from that to the opposite extreme. I tried the Arisen mod list. It's uh, pretty popular out there. And the problem I had with that is it, it's just too difficult. I mean, I'm, I'm an older gamer, and it, it's just very, I don't know, hard for me to, to, to play against creatures. And it's it was basically the creatures, like the, the Draugr and whatnot, 
that are just so overtuned and arisen. I mean, they're so powerful. I, I just couldn't get through it. I tried doing Bleak Falls Barrow at level three, which is supposed to be an introductory quest sort of thing. And, you know, managed to get through to cut Arvel down from the, the web. But beyond that, where the Draugr first appear, those things were so tough. Just I ended up rage quitting. I just I couldn't do it. And then I tried adjusting the difficulty all the way down to novice and trying to play Arisen. I just it was just too hard. I just it's obviously it's not for me. So in addition to that, not only was it too hard, it, it's too dark. And I'm sure that's the, the theme and the, the intent of the mod author, but I tried adjusting the EMB settings, trying to brighten the game, and to no avail. And, you know, the one thing I will give the game credit for is the um, candlelight spell uh, that's in there. It's been modded, so it's it toggles on and off, so you cast the spell, and it'll, it'll just stay. It'll give you il the illumination that you need in those dark... Um, dungeons the dark nights you know you can just cast a spell and sadly you end up probably just leaving it on throughout the entire game because it's just it's too dark but you know those are just my my issues but on on the good side i mean that the game arisen is just completely overhauled from top to bottom um the way you level up I mean, the, the fighting, the combat, the NPCs, the environments, the cities, all, all that stuff. The gear, the armor, the weapons, complete overhaul. And it, it is just an incredible, incredible looking game. And I just wish that, um, you know, I could have made it easy enough so that I could have enjoyed it. But unfortunately, I couldn't. So, I ended up settling on Lost Legacy, and there are only three things in Lost Legacy that, um, you know, I'm missing that would have made this, like, the perfect mod list. And the first one is Immersive Fort Dawn Guard. I wish that was in this mod list. Unfortunately, it isn't, uh, especially with this playthrough that we're about to go on. Uh, and the unread books glow that is like a quality of life thing that um, I've really enjoyed because I'll tell you in this playthrough I'm probably gonna leave half of the the spell books sitting on the table because I don't know that they're spell books so you know that I really needed the the unread books but I'll I'll make do somehow somehow I don't know but somehow and the third thing that this uh, mod list is missing is crossbow integration. So, unfortunately, bandits and people aren't walking around Skyrim with crossbows uh, that you could pick up. So, the only way you're going to get crossbows in this game is when you go and do the Dawn Guard uh, DLC and crossbows are introduced there. So, those are the only um, things that. Uh, I guess that I would say we're missing from this mod list. I mean, this is well beyond, you know, anything I could have ever imagined or wanted as, as far as mods. Because I think there are about 1,100 mods in Lost Legacy. And I'm coming from playing modded games anywhere from like 100 to close to 300 mods. That that's was like the extent of, you know, my mod list and to go from that to 1100 you know this is going to be quite the experience and I, i've already seen that there are things in this uh game that i don't understand that i'm going to have to learn about um you know it is overhaul the alchemy with the apothecary um mod and i was just having to read up on that because i you know not familiar with it but it does seem to have the basic vanilla properties, except changed a little bit. So I, I, I think I pretty much understand how that works. So that's been my experience. That's what I've been doing. Um, auditioning mod list, playtesting mod list, and 
Lost Legacy is what I've come up with. So, talk about Ezekiel for a moment. Ezekiel the Alchemist. Um, well, I'm going to miss him. I don't know if you guys are going to miss him. But I really enjoyed playing that character and his brand of humor. And, you know, it was just a, a, a lot of fun. And um, you know, I'm sorry that it had to end this way. I mean, we had 129 episodes. And there was still more. I still had more plans uh, for the character. But, you know, we start over with a new character. And um, I think that is going to do it for my commentary. I just wanted to let you know what was up, what's happened brand new game and I want to just thank all of my subscribers uh, you know it's 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 been great I appreciate the support um, just I have one one favor to ask if uh, you know we could get those likes up on the the video the videos that I release so that more people will be able to see them that's it just just like the video even if you don't like it, just like it. <laughs> but anyhow, I thank you all, and I hope you're going to enjoy this new adventure. And we are going to continue with the role-playing, and that will start right after this. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Years ago, the town of Helon in Hammerfell was attacked by a legion of vampires. The only known survivor was a young boy named Zur. Raised as an orphan after his parents were killed and everyone dear to him, he grew into a strong young man who had but a single purpose. Destroy all vampires. Zur became a mercenary when his sources sent word that the vampires that destroyed Helan were in Skyrim. He set off immediately, even though he was not prepared for hunting them. He couldn't let the trail go cold. It was time for revenge. Tell me, Wonder Nick, who are you? What will be your dares, your fate? I'm a mercenary, wandering to Skyrim from Hammerfell. All right, it's time for my adventure to begin. Most denizens of Tamriel are religious. You may choose to follow a deity, receiving a minor blessing, or learning about the sacred tenets. If you wish to follow a different deity later, find and activate their shrine in the in the world. I'm a follower of the Hunding, the spirit of perseverance over infidels, helps the red gods make way for their people. As a follower, I can weaken the armor of my opponents by staggering them. The tenets are, slay your foes in open combat, especially those stronger than you. Those skilled in one-handed are most deserving of the Hoonding's favor. All 
All right, well, here I am with my fancy armor that I managed to get donated to undertake my mission to wipe out those vampires that destroyed everybody in the town I grew up in. All right, Shirelia. Shirelia. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, you can. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. All right, we'll leave the the camels here. We'll go on foot from here. So the plan is head to Fall Creek and uh, you've established a safe house for us. Your noble friends have done an outstanding job as usual. And you may want to uh, put on something that's a little less conspicuous. I don't know. But let's go. Fall Creek. What in God's name is that? You said, what, an ogre? We, I don't think we have those in Hammerfell, do we? And you thought I was just a pretty face. Let's get out of here. I'm going to enjoy this. Sherry, come on now. Oh, look, there's a cave here. Oh, you tried to find that thing, didn't you? See, I try to... <laughs> you need to listen to me sometimes. What is this? I tell you, Skyrim is certainly a strange place. All right, I don't know if there's much in here that uh, could put to use. What? What's that? You said I should pick these mushrooms all right so what you're saying alchemy is a way to act actually make some extra money I'm not gonna argue with you that's the only thing we have this armor and these weapons. Like nobody wanted to give us some actual gold. They just said, gave us the stuff and said, here, you sell it. And make as much money as you can. I suppose that's sort of as helpful as getting gold. Who knows? We may actually get more for this than if it was just gold. Still here. Okay. You lead. I'll follow. We hear that. 
Sounds like some heavy breathing. Okay, no, nobody brought a um a pickaxe, did they? I told you you should have packed one. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Alright, put your weapon down. Don't you go up there. Don't go up. Sherry. By the divine. I'm not I'm not gonna try to kill a ogre. Alright, maybe I am. Get it, get it. I'm hardly doing any damage. I'm think I'll be out of arrows. Why don't you go over there and kill it then? Not scaring it. I'm going to enjoy this. All right, that's it. I'm out of arrows. Where are you anyway? Can, can we go now? I'm going to enjoy this. No, you stop, stop playing. Come on. Here's some more ingredients. An ice claw. So, if I eat it, it will permanently raise my carry weight. Okay. Alright, en enough is enough. She won't come. Well, I tried. I tried to help her. Oh, there you are. Come on. Look at this. This looks like another ice claw. I suppose I should eat them. I'm going to need all the carry weight I can get.
is that over there? I wonder. All right, I think it's down this way according to the map. And what do we have here? mysterious note blowing through the wind twirling at my side and I'm gonna hold on to it like it's right up here. This is the safe house that the noble family that you work for was kind enough to secure for us. Hmm, this is truly cozy. Hmm, the Shrine of Mara. Seems to have a lot of the essentials that somebody would need. Well, I'm gonna take a nap here. It's been a long trip. In the morning, I think we'll head to the, the town of Falkreath and see about selling off some of these things that we got. from my slumber dazed. I'm glancing around and I find a water skin laying beside me. I begin to notice the chill in the air and the grumble of my belly. I understand now that if I take a sip, things will be different from here on out. And do I want to continue down this path? No. Okay. Let's go. All right, so when we get too much stuff, I guess we can bring it back here store it in the, the safe house right now I need to sell off as much as I can so that I can afford these carriages oh it's too early it's not open yet all right let me run around here our creek was once full of wanderers Warriors like those homes were better beings. It seems like I get some experience every time I discover something, so I make sure I discover everything I can. Iron sword's pretty undependable. You should try steel. Well, if you want to trade me your sword, we can certainly do that, but this is the best I could do under the circumstances. Hold on, Nagagan.
Got the light now. Low guard. Hall of the Dead. Some fine armor. Good old fashioned steel. Uh, I might sell it if you uh, have a good offer. Alright, let me see if I can get in here now. Let me know if you see anything you like. I'm just here to sell off some things. Can I get you something? Well met. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Oh, that's, lots of them while I was a that's good. That makes my job a lot easier. Um, what have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. You can't afford this uh, fancy red god armor. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. What's going on? I hear breathing. Heavy breathing. I don't know if it's some kind of animal or something, but something's going on around here and I'm getting out of here. Stand out in the rain like that, just come, come out under here. We need to discuss our plans. Of course, you're not gonna listen to me, Sherry. Damn, strong cloak rebels. Everyone, I've got your back. Good. So, the plan is you outlet out outlined it for me is that. We're gonna. Oh my. That lightning. I, we don't have lightning like that in, in Hammerfell. But anyway. We're supposed to head to Whiterun. So that I can become a companion and train with them. So that I'll be able to take on the vampires. I know this is all. Just rushed. Because I really was hoping to get some Alakir training and then come here and hunt down the vampires, but it's just not going to happen that way. I mean, they're out here. We got some locations that we can check out. We know what we know they're here. But, let's go Lead to White Run and let's see if the companions can help. This way. I like how you say lead on and then you go off in the opposite direction. Don't think I don't notice. I'm 
just gonna save my coin so that I can buy the, the proper supplies rather than uh, use it on carriages. Besides, we can use the, the exercise. Look, I could see this uh, Mora Tapanella from down the road. Is that... Oh! What the... That man just fell out of the sky and he is dead as dead can be. Some kind of uh, kite or something that he was using. Oh wait. I'm sorry, you got you got me um thinking about alchemy and selling all these ingredients and stuff and making potions and that's all I'm seeing are things to pick up. Alright, let me let me read this uh book that he had. Finally, finished the paraglider. I didn't have enough twine that the instructions called for, but it seems sturdy enough that I'm sure it'll last. Maybe I should have taken the other one I made. Being able to glide through the air like a hawk is such an amazing feeling. I do wonder if this trend will catch on, and the merchant who sold me the instructions said they're certainly popular. I'm sure leaving the flat platform of the Gerald Mountain should be okay. There's not much up there to rob if a bandit were to find it. I can pick up some more construction materials around Fall Creek before hiking back up past that big old keep. Alright. Whatever. Um, between this lightning and that glowing thing there. What is that? This looks like a, a dead spriggan. A Kinnereth egg. Before Kinnereth made space in the void to create the mortal plane, she did a test run inside this egg. Okay. So what? What is this? You say it's a sky shard. I should touch it. All right. through me. Look at this, another ice claw. Oh. Hello. Speak. I just did, hello. You have something to say? Well, save your breath. The way I see it, you don't have much more of them left. I don't. You know, you can't talk to me any old kind of way. You should be careful who you threaten. It wasn't a threat, fool. But it can be. You seem tired is all. Out of breath. Hmm. Your concern is duly noted. But I'm fine. Is that right? So you're a fool and a liar. Good to know. 
I wish to know your name. Son of Cloudula Temple, named me the Desert Fang. The Thalmor know me as Des Courier. To you, I am simply Zvashni, the Khajiit who spared your life. Hmm, that was, uh, generous of you. Tell me about your armor and sword. That's a really nice armor. Akaviri. Really? Forged in a dragon land. There's a sword and armor of the blades. Sworn to the service of the true emperor. But know this. My sword serves no one. You could be Tiber Septim Reborn. And I'll still send you back to the divines with your head in your arm. All right, well, it was nice talking to you. Be gone, then. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I'm gonna check out this, uh, chest here. Take this potion. Quick. I'm on my way. You have a, a wonderful day. Out with it, fool. Sherry, come on. Let's get out of here. Before a sword fight breaks out. Since in trouble. Oh, it's bandits. They got arrows. Oh! Sherry. Do I have any, um... Alright, I got this potion. Are you? A, a fine iron sword better than what I've got. I got some of my off my arrows back from that failed attempt to kill that trouble. 
No, it was a, what was it? It was an ogre. just kept going. Or oh, another one of those shards. We gotta get this. Watch out the mud crabs over here too. Oh I was just thinking about praying. Mighty Hoonding, strengthen me and help us in our quest to destroy the vampires that murdered my family and my entire village. Yeah. 
Excellent. Yes, my sword arm feels stronger. Come on. Is this up here? Some bandit camp. of firewood. Look out. supposed to be helping me. Mm, a steel glaive. Bullets. Telling me they have guns in, in Skyrim. Crazy. Well, I just want these arrows. All right, let's keep moving. Oh. So there's uh, some kind of city up here, some kind of town. And it looks like the storm has passed good. Cloaks. Oblivion take them. Every miserable last one of them. So this uh according to the map this is Helgen. Shards. Imperial the Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Loves me. Oh. I'm telling you of the rush from these shards. All right, we need to continue on. Look at 
that. Some kind of Nordic ruin up there. over here. this uh this strong box here I guess I can't do anything with these stones and see thief stone my my birth sign is warrior so this should complement it those under the warrior gain benefits to their warrior skills and learn them faster you may only have one blessing at a time i'll take it Let's go. Sherry, let's go. Come on. So according to the map, Riverwood should be up here. What is that? Yeah. Heard some sword strokes. we got here too late the the imperial took care of it you here. Here comes another one. I'll kill you where you stand. Oh, you 
you did it too. Wait, who said that? Is that a bandit over there? Well, you're gonna have to come over here with all that uh, smart talk. Come on. Don't make me come across there. I'm going to enjoy this. You know what? I got an idea. Can't wait to count on your yeah, now what you gonna do? Here it comes. And you thought I was just a pretty face. Here it comes. Oh, he's... Glad at least that I am no stranger to weapon. Oh my good, another sky shard, come on. Doesn't concern you, citizen. Yeah, you do look out of place. What's going on? Why are the the thou more here? This doesn't concern you, citizen. Hmm. That's not good. Walk away now. Let's go on in here. I think we still have some things to well, sell. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. No, don't be. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but. The Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. All right. Well, did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. A break-in? We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Well, I could help you get the claw back. Stop poking me. Sherry, I know we need the money. Yeah, I could help you. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine! but only to the edge of town. All right, but hold on. I, I need to sell some Sooner things. Sooner you... Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Let's uh, see. Oh, I wanted to... What's the... Oh, I can't see my... My sword. Hold on. All right.
Oh, this fine iron sword is much better. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Scroll of oak flesh. Let me sell these off. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Uh, where did she go? I guess she's already on her way. through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Oh, yeah, we saw that on our way Those here. Those thieves must be mad from Helgen. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Who was this? I was a Walk child. Now. Why are the Thalmor here? Sherry, this way. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Well, you know, sometimes we really don't know people like we think we, we do like Sherry for example this is the bridge out of town the path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow I guess I should get back to my brother he'll throw a fit if I take too long <laughs> such a child well all right Mara if, bless if you, you must go to help us Oh, it's it's not a problem. I need the money. Just as bad as you need the claw. So how much further do I have to walk? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. All right, thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Lincoln and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. All right, you have a great day. Sherry, we're gonna have to fix this. All right. That's much better. Now you keep up with me. Let's go. All right, we're gonna have to put that Bleak Falls Barrow on hold for the moment. Wait, what's... Why it runs safe hold? According to the map here, let's just discover it. Uh-oh. Really, you get it. That's it. Thank you. Is this where's the safe hole? Oh, 
Oh, look at this. What's this? A Kwama egg. Night vision for 90 seconds. These Kwama eggs are only a few of many such eggs decorated by the famed Dunma artist in Daryl Halu. Most are assumed to have been destroyed in the eruption of Vardenfell Mountain. this over here some kind of skirmish well that's what? taken care of no thanks to you well I got here as fast as I could and, and yeah I tried my best huh. another milk drinker crying about their effort oh a milk drinker huh glory only awaits those who triumph and as companions, our Wait. glory must always be hard fought. You're, you're the companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? And well, I have. Warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hoonding. Shiri, we did it. We've met the companions. And up ahead is Whiterun. 